What's up everybody, y'all know the business. I'm back again with another video, and today I wanna to talk about my swap out of my Vectra M1 with my Core 20. So I got my Core 20 in the mail today and I'm pretty excited about it. I've waited for a Core for quite some time and today it happened. So first off, I wanna start off saying that there is absolutely no problems with my Vectras. In fact, a Vectra M1, which I was using, and a Core 20 is pretty much the same exact pump. Both pumps have about 2,000 gallon per hour. The head on the Vectra is about 21.5 feet. The head on the Core is 20 feet. Both pumps are dead silent in my system. I can't really tell the difference when I just look at it from that level. So my biggest factor in the swap of the Vectra for the Core is that I wanted to have more controllability of the Vectra with the Apex Fusion system. If you've been around for a while, you know good and well that the Vectra pumps are not really compatible with the Apex systems. So that's been a big problem for me. The Vectra has no Apex support despite the Vortex and the Radions being 100% compatible. So anytime I wanted to use feed modes, I had to use float switches, or I'd have to use the Apex 2016 power monitoring features to turn off other devices like skimmers. Now, I had to use two apps in order to completely control my tank, and that would be EcoSmart Live for my Vectra, and then I would use Apex Fusion for everything else, and I really didn't like that. So let's talk a little bit about the installation. The swap out was very simple. Um, the core has a one and a quarter type of uh, plumbing adapter. I had to get a one and a quarter to one inch plumbing adapter because my plumbing is all one inch and in my return. So I did have to do that. I did have to take about an inch away from the return just to make the core fit. I basically cut off a old union and put a new union and I made that an inch closer to, to what it was. So once I did that, the core fit just like the Vectra, there was no problems there. After I plugged everything in, the system gave me the new title icon and I added that to Fusion. Basically the new tile uh, has the watts, it has the RPM and it has the temperature for the core. Once again, I've never seen this information in Fusion for the Vectra because it's just not compatible. Uh, you also have the outlet control, which you did have for the Vectra, but uh, with the outlet control with a core, I have the wizard available to me to set the speeds. Now I ran the core task to calibrate it. It's a very simple uh, task to do. You can change the name, you can set the feed cycles, and you can set the air alarm pretty much everything that the Vectra does that you need to do through EcoSmart Live. Basically the wizard takes a couple of minutes and you're done. So what are my initial first thoughts on the Core 20? Well the Core and the Vectra are practically the same type of return pump. You set whatever you want your speed to be and you forget it. So you don't really have a lot of configuration you have to do. In fact you don't want to keep changing things around. Both are controllable within their own softwares. They pretty much have the exact same features as far as email alerts, when things happen, uh, the ability to ramp up and down if you're into that kind of thing with a return pump, which I don't really see unless you're using it as a, um, a closed loop. But the biggest thing that I've noticed with the core is the power use. So I have the Apex flow meter so I can tell exactly how much water I'm pumping through my pipes. So. I used the flow meters to measure the exact flow that I was getting with the Vectra, and then I configured the core to do the exact same thing, literally giving an apples to apples comparison of the core versus the Vectra as far as power is concerned. Now, the core uses about 28 to 30 watts compared to the Vectra 75 to 76 watts on my system. Now, this is when both pumps are pushing about 221 gallons of water through each of the return nozzles. Now, with that information, I'm able to tell how much money I'm spending in power with the Vectra versus the Core. Now, Fusion Monitoring told me that the Vectra is using about $5.94 per month, and the Core is using about $2.35 a month. So, that is a little bit of savings, 
after a year or so, I may be able to buy a frag, but power is money and the core definitely is using less power than the Vectra in my setup and configuration. So that's it with this video of my initial thoughts of the core and my installation. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me a note. Let me know if you switched over from a Vectra to a core. Let me know your experiences. And as always, happy reefing YouTube. Take care.